What's up, Rotato Chip? I'm back and in a onesie. All right, so this week's debate is which Marvel actor is most like the hero that he portrays. And of course, my answer is just kidding. All right, so we narrowed it down to a few. We've got Hugh Jackman versus Wolverine. We've got Patrick Stewart versus Professor X. We have Ryan Reynolds versus Deadpool, and we have Robert Downey Jr. versus Tony Stark. All right, let's count them down. I'm going to say fourth would be Hugh Jackman versus Wolverine, just because Hugh Jackman's such a nice guy. Like everybody says, he's a nice guy. Uh, versus Wolverine, you got like a loner badass who's really rough and gruff and doesn't really like to be around people, I guess. I, don't, I mean, in X-Men First Class, he had one line, and that line was, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's not Hugh Jackman at all. Third, you got Patrick Stewart and Professor X. This is closer than Wolverine, but still not top, uh, top one. Uh, Patrick Stewart always comes off very intelligent, just like Professor X. He's the professional father figure that Professor X is to all the X-Men. Um, that's kind of all I got for that one. Uh, number two, Robert Downey Jr. versus Tony Stark. Tony Stark is a genius billionaire philanthropist playboy. And then you got Robert Downey Jr., who his net worth is $180 million which is a lot more than mine, so I'm going to count that as a billion. Uh, he's been married since 2005, though, so that doesn't really qualify him uh, as a playboy. Uh, rest in peace, Hugh Hefner. Um, philanthropist, he's very generous with the money, always making donations. He's even donated, uh, or done Make-A-Wish. I've seen him um, in character as Tony Stark give a young man who lost part of his arm an Iron Man arm in character. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and like Tony Stark, he kind of owes some of his, he says he owes his success to his father, who Tony Stark inherited the company from his father. Um, he wouldn't be anywhere without the money he had at his disposal um, if it wasn't for his father. So that leaves number one Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds is a sarcastic, funny, witty jackass, and Deadpool's a jackass who's sarcastic, witty, and funny. I mean, they're exactly the same. If you ever see any of Ryan Reynolds' tweets, he doesn't take anything seriously, and neither does Deadpool. That's one of the reasons he made it out of the Weapons X program, because he kept a sense of humor. Um, these guys are both Canadian. Both names are alliterative. Uh, they have both been divorced and remarried. They have met their current wives in the comic book setting. Ryan Reynolds uh, met Blake Lively on the set of uh, The Green Lantern. And the only place Deadpool can meet a wife is in a comic book. Um, they both appeared in DC and in Marvel, Ryan Reynolds in Green Lantern. Um, Deadpool with um, Slade Wilson. Uh, in DC, um, and then even in the Deadpool comics, he says he looks like Ryan Reynolds, and this was before Ryan Reynolds played him on the big screen. So, I mean, these guys are one and the same. It's ridiculous to tell them apart. And there you go. I'll catch you on the flip side, brother.